My father, he is the sailor man and he was traveling all over the world. He has a great pictures from every part of the world and uh, his passion became my passion. I found in, the, in his cupboard the Nikon, film Nikon, and from that time it became my passion. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Tatiana, but my Muslim name is Tasnim. I converted to Islam around five years ago, alhamdulillah. And I came to Dubai from Kyrgyzstan, from Central Asia, and I'm staying here around nine months, alhamdulillah. I was born around 60 kilometers from the capital of my country, and uh, I was grown with my grandmothers, both mother's mom and father's mom. And uh, they were responsible for my education, alhamdulillah. And uh, I love them so much, and so uh, I miss them so much also. When I was not in Islam, I just was absorbed I just uh, have a look at the Muslim and the Muslim's life and I know that we have some mosque in our country but it was, you know, just I was not in the Islam and I just saw like people, they, in the end of Ramadan, in the Fajr pray, a lot of Muslim in the central square, they just praying together, mashallah, it was amazing. But after, uh, when I convert to Islam, I just get to know a lot of new people for me and a lot of young people, they are converted to Islam, different nationalities. It's not a depend of that you are from Kyrgyzstan or no, are you Kyrgyz or no, are you local or no, anyone, you know, just uh, a lot of young people, especially, they converted to Islam. But, Alhamdulillah, every year uh, in the end of Ramadan, in the central square, there is no free space for pray. Alhamdulillah. I used to go with my grandma to the Orthodox Church. I was in the church also. I was singing the Christian songs with my grandma. It was good, but uh, it was a lot of conflict inside me because still, when I was uh, so small, I cannot understand. You know, I'm going to church and I cannot understand why people praying in front of the pictures, in front of the icons. It was a huge conflict inside my heart, inside my soul. And after some time, I just was asking my grandma, why it's like this? Why people praying in front of the pictures? And nobody gave me correct answer. By this reason, I continue my search and I would like to find some, really something for my soul, for my heart, to be satisfied in my religion. I was looking in different religions to try something, to find something which is very close to me, to my heart and to my soul. And so uh, I was searching in the books, in the libraries, in the internet also about different religions all over the world. I was interested in Hinduism and Buddhism just to know the concept of these religions. And uh, I just found Islam five years ago, Alhamdulillah. It was so amazing, like I just covered a new world for me and a new chapter of my life starts. When I was 19, 20, I started reading the Evangel uh, because I was trying to find, I was trying to find the truth, how it is and why God created all the human beings and what are we doing here in the earth, what about the stars, what about the universe, about everything. And this is the mystery of the sunrise and sunset and I started reading from the old part of Evangel. But when I read the new parts, it was so different and it was more questions for me than answers and i was keep searching you know keeping searching after after i would i would like to know how it is why it's like this and so many questions i had and i was asking a lot of people from the church i was asking my grandma about this and i cannot just believe how it is in the old part of evangel in the new part so big difference and um I just was trying to find uh, and after I met wonderful people who start to make Dawat for me, Alhamdulillah. And so uh, I start to get knowledge from them and so uh, they will explain me so much how to clean your hands, how to wash your face, 
how to perform the salat. And it was amazing to listen to the hadith about the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, about his life and about the actions in Islam. What should we do? What should we not to do? And so it was slowly, slowly, step by step. There was no force and I was just getting to know about Islam more and more. Every day I was learning something new. And there is so simple in Islam. The most favorite thing that there is no one between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you can ask directly Allah. No need to ask people like in the church, you go to the church and it's, uh, you can make dua directly for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this faith became stronger and stronger. And Allah, he just opened my heart, opened my eyes, opened my ears. And then I say shihara. Ashhadu la ilaha illallah, ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasulullah. Alhamdulillah, I became a Muslim. And that day, I will never forget this wonderful day in my life. And a new chapter of my life started then. Alhamdulillah. I was trying to explain my relatives. How it is, how is life in Islam? It's so different. Of course, I met a lot of problems with, uh, from the, my parents' side, from my grandmom. And she said, oh, how come like this? Why you convert from Christian religion to Islam? And still maybe right now, she's, she cannot understand fully, like 100% why I changed my religion. And I'm trying, keep trying to explain that Allah is the God. He's the one, he's the only one. And we should uh, perform the Salat five times a day. Alhamdulillah. And so, my another chapter of life starts when I start to pray five times and it was amazing when you pray and this time limit between one prayer and another prayer it's you feel yourself so happy alhamdulillah I started to wear hijab uh, more than one year ago alhamdulillah first I start to pray and I was making dua, please Allah, make me became more stronger, make my Islam stronger. And so, because when I was going inside the prayer room, I cover myself after I uncover and go outside. And I was keep trying to make more, make my, my Iman also stronger. And I just kept asking Allah, please make hijab the usual wearing for me for every day. And Alhamdulillah, it was, more than one year ago, um, I started to cover myself. I was working at the time at a university. I was teaching there and I had a lot of students around me and teachers, professors also, and more than 2,500. And everyone came to me and asked, oh, why you start covering yourself? Please explain what's going on. I said, Yalla, why? We, are, we know about Islam and you also know about Islam. Alhamdulillah, I convert to Islam and I decided to cover myself. But still inside my family, it was big conflict. Why you start cover? Why you wearing scarves? Why you wearing different clothes? 1,000 questions every day. Why you start wearing hijab? And I was just planning to go to my university and I was just asking my mom, which kind of color of my scarf is very nice with my dress. And she said, no way, without scarf is much better. I said, mom, how you can say like this? And it's not acceptable for me, please understand. Just understand my soul, just understand the situation of my heart. And uh, Alhamdulillah, slowly, slowly, after one month, my mom, she make a gift for me. She just uh, present me one wonderful green scarf. It was a big sign, you know, from, from Allah's side that my mom, she slowly, slowly start to understand that I can work to Islam. It's very serious for me. بنور العظيم الكريم العزيز حكيم الرحيم الحليم السلام يا سبحان الله يا سبحان I love to take pictures of Muslim architecture and nature. Alhamdulillah. And I would like to share the picture of Muslim Masjid and maybe this one uh, will help people all over the world. Maybe they will be more interested in Islam religion and about Muslim countries and about Muslim way of life, inshallah. I 
I start to pray more than one year ago, alhamdulillah. And it was also not easy for me because in my home, there is no special place for praying. And so uh, we live all together, my mom, my grandma, mother's husband, my small brother and my sister. And uh, it was amazing when I saw that my small brother started to care about me when I was praying Salah. He was trying to protect me. And when I covered myself, go to pray, and brother said, please, can I stay with you in the same room? I said, of course, inshallah, you can. And he was scared too much about me. And during my prayer, he was keep silent, and he was just to uh, inform the people in my home, uh, inform my parents, please be quiet, because my sister, she's praying. She's praying, please be quiet. Don't call her, don't disturb her. He was scared so much. He was close to the door and he was scared about my salat. Mashallah, I will, I just, I was surprised about this. And he's so pure and inshallah, I slowly, slowly start to make dawah for my family. Inshallah, because the great present from Allah's side, it will be that my family will convert to Islam also, inshallah. I really love to pray five times a day and I cannot imagine my life, my life without Salat. And it's make me more confident, more happy and more pure and clean, you know. And so uh, this is wonderful moment when you are in the Chanama and between you and Allah, no one, only you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you make in Dua and also Salat can protect you from the bad things in this life. And even maybe, who knows, Allah alim, maybe if the same situation will be with me, but I, astaghfirullah, I cannot even imagine how I will be out of the Islam. But a lot of hard situations sometimes uh, upset us and it's really hard to understand. And I don't mind about the problems because I know Allah, He's the best planner, He's the best helper and He will protect us and may Allah guide all of us, inshallah. Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin, Ar Rahmani Rahim, Maliki Omidin, Yakana Budu Wayakana Stain, Idina Sirotal Mustakim, Sirotal Ladina Anam Talehim, Horil Mahdubi Alehim Valat Dolin. Amen.